Hey everyone, this is Mark. I am once again joined uh, by Nick Good of the Good Home Team here in Dallas. And we're just gonna let you guys know a little bit about what's going on in the market, some things that we've been seeing, some trends uh, for the first couple months of the year. First of all, Nick, thanks for joining me. How are you doing? Thanks for having me again. Yeah, yeah. So we were talking a little bit off air about uh, you know the first couple months of 2019. We've seen some some things, uh, some trends in real estate that might be of note um, for people that are interested in uh, buying or selling real estate this year. So first of all, wh what are you seeing right now? Well, I mean, right now, um, if you're a home buyer, you know that is just now starting their home search, you're probably starting to see that uh, homes are lasting, uh, taking a little bit while longer to sell. So that that's good and bad, right? So. Um, what it does do is is what we're noticing is that inventory levels here in, in Dallas and, and across the nation are up. So inventory levels rose in January in 28 of the 35 uh, biggest you know, city markets, according to Zillow. So um, and what we're starting to see right now is, is you know, houses up for sale in Dallas County are up 43 um, uh, percent. Houses up in Denton County are up 42 percent. And in Collin County, they're up 37 percent compared to last year. So. What we're starting to see is that with more homes coming on the market, um, we're starting to see buyers being a little bit slower to pull the trigger. So, um, you know, days on market start creeping up. We're starting to see prices getting slashed and larger price reductions and, and starting to see uh, sellers get a little bit more creative with what they're trying to do to get their home sold. Okay, so when you mention creative ways to to get their home sold, you know, either sellers or, or their agents, what are what are some strategies that you have found that actually you know they can use to to um, get their home sold in a timely matter for the or manner for the right price in this kind of market right right well i mean let's talk about price real quick and then we'll go over the the two the two items that are really working well for us is is the expectation this year is that home prices are still going to rise it's just going to be a little bit slower than than the previous year so we are still going to see a slight increase in, in home prices so that's good news for home sellers um, but what we're what we're doing right now to help our clients get their home sold quickly and for the best price possible is getting more creative and finding those right solutions. And the first one is is the reverse offer. And the reverse offer uh, is, is just as it sounds. It's you know if we're getting uh, showings on our clients' houses and we've got buyers that may be interested, they just haven't pulled the trigger to make an offer yet. What we will do is we'll sit down with our client and we will ask them what kind of offer would you would you find acceptable and worth taking right now we will write up an offer and send it to that buyer and their agent and so it's basically a little bit backwards is is we're going after being proactive to that buyer and saying hey if you go ahead and and want to move forward with this house you know our clients will take x right so um, we're seeing a large success with getting at least in further talks and, and several success stories with, uh, with getting people under contract because of our reverse offers. Um, so that's number one, right? And, and, and finding that creative solution definitely has, has made our clients uh, really excited about working with us. And, and number two is, is something that we've had to dust off. Uh, from back when when you know inventory levels were really high during the recession, and that's our guarantee home sale. And so um, you know, our guaranteed home sale program is we will guarantee to sell our clients' houses in 39 days or less, or we'll buy it. And you know, so it, it's not for everyone. You know, typically what we tell everyone is that this is for someone who who wants to make sure that you know they really need to sell their home, and it's at an agreed upon price. So. You know, there's there's no force or, um, you know, ill will. It's basically we come in here and say, if we can't get a contract or sell your home in 39 days, then we'll buy it at, at agreed upon X price. And that price is is determined off an appraisal and inspection on the home. So um, it's just a safety net for for home sellers that definitely have to sell and move. And and we've we've never had to buy a home. Uh, because of it, because of our, our proven strategies to get, you know, clients, you know, our clients home sold for, for the best price in a timely manner. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's good to know that you have, like you said, a safety net for people that maybe are looking to sell, but, um, you know, things are just not, the conditions aren't as favorable as they may have been last year. This, this trend that you're seeing for these first couple of months, do you see that continuing for the remainder of 2019 or what, what's on the horizon? 
I do. I mean, look, in, in our area, job, you know, the, the job and economy are still strong. So we still have a very, a very good real estate market. It's just not compared to the previous, you know, two to three years. So for example, we have a home in the colony right now that just went up for sale on Thursday. We already have uh, well over four offers on it and, and have had lots of showings on it. Now, you know, that that hot home is priced under 300000 So in certain price points, you know, these these reverse offers in the guaranteed home sale program may not be the best option for them because they're still in, in high demand. And, and some of the higher priced markets, the 350000 or, or above, where uh, buyers buyers have a lot more inventory to choose from, then it's great to have options to choose from when it comes to selling your home. And it takes the, the stress out of it, having a safety net or knowing that you have a real estate agent that's doing everything possible uh, to get that right buyer into the house. So um, we probably will see a, a, a flat to maybe a little bit increase in, in home sales this year and, and going into to 2020. Um, and since 2020 is an election year, we haven't really seen a dip uh, in election year cycle. So I'm expecting it to probably fall off in 2021. Okay. So it almost sounds like a return to uh, a normal real estate market instead of the hot one that we've been seeing recently. Absolutely. Well, I mean, a, a normal real estate market in terms of we, we came out of a recession into this very low inventory. Uh, so it was like overcorrection. And then we're going back, what is that, you know, almost 15 years back to a, a normal Dallas cycle. So um, we haven't seen a normal market in quite a while. Gotcha. Well, that's why we got you here to, to let us know what's going on and let us know that what these trends mean and the, the implications for people that are looking to buy and sell real estate this year. If, if someone wants to know more, if the you know situation is right for them or what, what their next step should be, how can they get a hold of you? Absolutely. So if you're, if you're watching this on Facebook, you can always comment down below or you can uh, send us a message or you can always call us at 972-215-7653. That's 972-215-7653. Or you can always reach us at our website, thegoodhometeam.com. All right. Well, Nick, thanks for joining us again. And we will go ahead and see you guys next time. Thanks, Mark. See you in a couple of weeks. All right. Take care.